Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today I wanted to share with you the launch of my first official grimoire printable. So this printable is a pack of 10 different page designs, so each one of these is a design, and uh, they were all restored by me from a 1490s manuscript. So I went in and digitally restored the, the styling and made it so that you're able to print them on white paper. Or uh, I also have some download downloadable versions that are on tan paper and on brown like tea stained paper, which is pretty exciting. These 10 page designs come in these half size sheets, so it really ends up being five printed pages. And the half size sheets and the full size sheets both come in all three colors, the white, the tan, and the brown, and lined and unlined varieties, which is super exciting. So let me just show you all of these designs here. So to get these five pages here, what I did was I printed one version, which was the unlined, and then on the other side of the page I just flipped it over and I printed the lined version. So starting with the lined pages, the lines I developed um, using the word love and, and I shrunk them down really small, and then repeated the phrase over and over and over again and made lines out of it. So you know that every page that is lined on here is imbued with love, which I just thought was a really amazing thing to do. So here's that first design there. Each one of these is a different design altogether, which I just love. They're all so interesting. Some of them have these points, some of them are just curved. This is probably my favorite page. It's got that six-pointed star on it there. So those are all the pages. So the reason I printed this out was not only to share this amazing printable with you guys, <laughs> but was to make my own book of shadows uh, signature out of it. So let's go ahead and fold all these guys and see what they look like. And I printed these at 97% uh, scale so that my printer wouldn't cut them off. I don't have one of those fancy printers <laughs> that allows for edge-to-edge -edge printing. Maybe someday I'll get to that point, but that day is not today. So just know if you print them at 97%, you shouldn't have any issues with the edges being cut off. And I do have a discount code for those of you who would be interested in uh, buying this printable set, whether you want the full page set or the half sheet, because it's two different products. I have the half sheet like these guys, um, and they're the same price. It's really just about how you're planning on using them. Um, but yeah, so I have a discount code and I just relaunched my shop the other day, so that code is going to be active until Thursday of this week. So that code is FALL15. FALL15. <laughs> so use that until Thursday and you'll get 15% off of your order. So the cool thing about having printing it in a way where you have the unlined on the back and then the lined on the front is that when you nest them, you get a little bit of each. So bam, you get lined and unlined. Lined and unlined. Et cetera. So I printed five sheets of paper, which ended up being 10, you know, sheets. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim the edges off. Ooh, we've got some lovely sunlight joining us now. And sometimes I'll use fancier things to do this, but I'm feeling like winging it with some scissors today. Let's see how even I got. Oh, not too shabby. I'll take it. Let's 
So there's that. I actually would like for my favorite page to be on the front, so I always get to see it. Let's see. Here you are, friend. Let's scooch you out there. Ah ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. Love that one. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. You can still see my candle over here. Oh, and that discount code for Fall 15 also applies to my beeswax candles, so if you guys are interested, you can pick some of those up as well. So now what I want to do is find something to be the cover of my new Book of Shadows. So I have this store in my town called Art Salvage, and I was able to pick up this amazing used or secondhand scrapbook paper from them, <laughs> which is a total score because then I'm not feeding into the supply and demand of new papers, but I also get something super cool. So I think this one is from 2011. Yeah, 2011. So I don't really get to treat myself with lovely magical papers very often, so I'm going to make this the cover of this signature. Let's see where I want the design to be. Ooh, I like that cauldron on the front. Should I scooch it all the way over? You know, I think I really like it up against that edge there. So let's just do like a little mark. There we go. Nice and folded. Let's see if you fit in there. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys remember, uh, I don't know, maybe not all of you are my age, but um, Dragon Tales? <laughs> I, I grew up on channel, uh, you know, the PBS channel, so. Yeah, Dragon Tales. I always loved Wheezy. She was really fun. Now, I kind of feel like I want to have a nameplate on this, but I also kind of want to leave it blank. So maybe I'll just leave it blank for now and see if I want to add anything later. And there she is. Ah, love it. Let's put her in my traveler's notebook. <laughs> Watch out, Candle. So there she is. Ah, oh, I love that. I'll be able to write all my witchy spells and whatnot in there. That'll be great. I might recover this because it's a little bit bright for me, but we'll see. Ah, oh, I really like that. So, that is the printable that I have that is for sale, but I also, thank you for watching to the end, I have a free printable as well. <laughs> so this here, there were so many amazing frames in the text that I was working with that I made this tags sheet. There we go. So these tags are all different. They, of course, because they came from the same text, they have kind of similar style to them but let's give you some zoom in shots to see what's going on with them. So there's vertical ones going up and down along the sides, and then there's some wide ones that I've been using. I have been experimenting with these already. I've been using them in my Book of Shadows or my Grimoire as kind of like a header slash label. So something that I think is a really cool idea is, let me zoom out, is putting, say, the name of a spell or a practice you're doing here, like even just gratitude, then you have the moon phase and the date here. So I would love to do one of these spreads. <laughs> okay, so let's do, let's just do the one we were talking about here. So it would be like, um, so right now it's almost the new moon, so I'm just going to put the new moon here. You could even say what sign the new moon is in. There's all sorts of things you could add underneath. And then the way I've been writing the date just to make it seem a little more magical is... So doing it vertically like that, I just feel like that's really fun. <laughs> 
So it's something I would end up writing about. Actually, I was gonna do a journal entry about this today, so let's do that. <laughs> Miasma and gunk. <laughs> so sometimes I feel this energy of heaviness, and I wanted to be able to put a, a label to that so that I know how to banish it. So anyway, miasma and gunk, I'm gonna have to do a deep dive into which term I like better, and I think I'm leaning towards miasma at this point, but we'll see. So, let's cut this bad boy out. And these, this free printable is available on my website. All these printables are available on my website. So use that code and you'll be able to get a discount on either candles or printables or um, just go pick up the freebie. And it is all located at the bottom of my shop. So I also have my old free printable for three, three grimoire page frames that I um, put out. I think I put it out last year or maybe it was in the winter of last year and the beginning of this year. But anyway, so there's that miasma and gunk. Okay, let's find my old book of mirrors here. Oopsie, I've already been using them here. Let's get a new page. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on in. I feel like, um, in general, when I'm journaling or working in my book of shadows, I keep it pretty simple, but the thing I do like to uh, kind of decorate the most is the headers or the headings. So most of the time I'll just draw like a banner. Um, I'm sure you'll see the banners all over my, my uh, YouTube channel, but um, yeah, I like to draw banners in my books just to like essentially distinguish between my normal writing <laughs> and the title. <laughs> Because I do write small most of the time, so that's a healthy distinguisher for me. Ooh, coffee time! Oh no, and tractor time. Okay, the tractor's finally on its way out. <laughs> We're chopping wood, preparing for the fall, so... Oh, gotta love that. That's what happens when you wake up early in the morning. Anyway, so my miasma and gunk, I'll just do a little journaling session about that here. But then also there are these, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I really like this one. This, I think this is my favorite design. Check that out. There's the skulls on the top. I just love that one. I might even make another sheet that's just a whole bunch of these because I love it so much. But these you can use in your journal in all sorts of ways as well. The way I was thinking of using this one is I have this little um, recipe I've been working with. And this isn't for everybody, but it's an herbal smoke blend. Um, my friend from Wild Wind Apothecary, she's amazing. We do farmer's markets together sometimes. We just did the Pagan Fest and that was super awesome. Um, but anyway, so she started selling these uh, herbal smoke blends and that inspired me so much that I bought bulk mugwort <laughs> and I've been working on making my own herbal blend for before I go to bed and I've actually had some success with it so that is extremely exciting for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, write the recipe down here. There we go, so there's that little recipe I can write down. So there's those little journal entries. Um, I'm gonna journal about this later, but um, all to say, these are extremely useful in journaling as headers and like little potion sections. So I'm excited about that. Now, these, this free printable comes not only in this black on white style, but it also comes in a black on tan or like a cream colored paper and black on the same brown, like tea stained paper. 
I will say from like a sustainability perspective, I would definitely prefer you guys print the black on the white and then tea stain the paper yourself because it'll definitely be heavy on the ink and you know, ink cartridges are just, you have to buy them all the time and all that, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how you can use these in your spiritual journaling practice. And I really enjoyed making these, so I hope you guys enjoy using them. Remember to use the code FALL15 for 15% off of your order until next Thursday, which is the 29th. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a magical day. Bye.